the building had been on fire since Thursday evening. There was up to 20 fire engines here and they were struggling to get to the fire because the building actually collapsed onto the fire but was still burning underneath. We removed the roof piece by piece, just getting it out of the way, then the fire brigade would go in, put that part of the fire out, and then we'd just repeat the exercise all the way through the building. Well, what I've been doing here with the, with the rotating grab and the shear um, since we arrived is uh, chopping up any steel that's got to be sheared up, uh, loading out. We've, uh, the majority of the scrap has gone now, um, so now it's down to a case of sorting the, the rubbish that's left. Uh, there's a lot of little bits of metal and whatnot in the rubbish, so we can literally pick anything that's you know, very small up, so we can get 99% of, uh, of the steel out of the rubbish. We can, we can work hard to get metal out of the job. Which we get metal which will generate a revenue which will help to pay the cost, keep the cost down for the insurer or the customer. The, the, the company that um, own the building, um, we, we want to work very closely with them because they're going through a very difficult time. They want to keep staff, skilled staff employed um, and they want to keep, keep the business working well and efficiently. The building owners want to salvage as much as they can uh, there's some valuable machinery in there that they want to refurb. It's, we've got to talk with them on best methods of getting that out safely. What's important to do is to make sure that a customer finds an organisation like ours that's going to do a good, professional, safe job, doing all the recycling correctly, keeping to all the health and safety legislation correctly, or the environmental legislation correctly. Rain or shine, we'll do a good job, come what may.